Today I'm going to be attempting to beat Total Warhammer 3 using only Bretonian Peasants. Now if you aren't familiar, Bretonian Peasants are terrible. The entire concept of Bretonia is built around their cavalry, their knights, and their peasants, well, they're just, they're bad. They're some of the worst infantry in the game, some of the worst archers in the game. Actually decent artillery, but overall, they're just not good. <laughs> and on top of that, the most difficult part of this challenge is the peasant economy mechanic. Essentially, you can only have a certain number of peasants before you stop earning gold from your best economic building, and also all of the peasants lose all of their casualty replenishment. They get a minus 90% casualty replenishment if you have too many peasants. But we're going to be attempting this with Repons de Lyonnais on very hard campaign and battle difficulty. Now unfortunately we do have to have lords that aren't peasants, but that isn't necessary because the peasants require their beatings. If they aren't beaten and subjugated, they will just be lazy and worthless. Which they will also be when beaten and subjugated. It's a little bit difficult to understand Bretonian society. It's a little complex. I really do like this starting location. We have to deal with a lot of Tomb Kings, though. Like an ungodly quantity of Tomb Kings. Like most of the Tomb Kings. All of these units are part of the peasant economy. They're all peasant units. The Foot Squires like to think they're better. They want to be knights, but they never will be. Balance of power here is not in our favor after we disbanded some of our most important units. I think we can take this, though. I think we probably have this. The trebuchets and the peasant bowmen are going to need to do 90% of the real work here. The other units are just a physical barricade. That's all they are. I don't think they're going to do any real damage. Yeah, I'm going to immediately go for the cam wraiths. As soon as they clump up, we pop that, and that was not a lot of damage. Okay, that was only 500 damage. Come on, trebuchets. Please fire. Oh, nice, nice. That is good damage right there. Uh, we've lost quite a lot of models, but no units or anything like that. Losing units would actually be quite impressive with this army, because they'll just run well before they die. Oh, 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 oh. Should not have left them on fire at will. That was mostly hitting the enemy, but it did rout our units, which is not ideal. Okay, their lord's finally dead. That should rout them. That and one last Halo of Mainly Wrath. I think we would have done better in auto-resolve there. That was rough. That was definitely a Pyrrhic victory. That felt quite Pyrrhic. But they're dead. And can we... We definitely can't take this main settlement. But can we take this? I'll see. I can back off from here and still recruit if I need to. I think this will just barely be possible. I think if our trebuchets are on the low ground, we can be in a position where all of their units are going to blob up right up there, and we have a very clear firing angle there. I actually like that balance of power. That is not bad. They're sending up their fast units first. That's always good. Why are you Why are you trebuchets trying to hit that? Oh my god. I was hoping we could get two full volleys off before they got to us, but the spearmen should wipe them out really quickly before they do any real damage. And the bats are gone. That's good. The wolves will be gone in a second too. Alright, we can probably target here safely. It's a little close. Eh, maybe a little further back. We got some of them crumbling here already. Oh, those are good trebuchet shots. Alright, there we go. Right here into a mixture of skeleton warriors and zombers. Yeah, that's good, man. That is beautiful. I love field trebuchets, man. I love them. That's why I did this challenge. I was trying to think of, like, how could I actually have a fun time with this challenge while doing well with the limitation on peasants? Field trebuchets are the answer. Okay, so this increases the number of peasants that we can sustain by one for each region we have. But yeah, these aren't actually good units. We're going to get rid of them as soon as we can get the ones with shields in two turns. But for right now, we just need something. We just need some meat on the front lines. To take this, even without an army here... We're going to need a lot more than we have, to be honest. And we're also going to need several turns of recovery, so I think it might make sense to global just get a shit ton of terrible units. Ooh, they are recruiting damn fast there. That must have been a raised dead or something. Thank you for leaving your settlement to just be in Force March there? I don't know why the fuck he did that, but I, I'll take this. <laughs> I'll take it, man. The AI giveth and the AI taketh away, but here the AI giveth. And we will actually need to fight this battle, which is surprising. I think we should be able to auto-resolve it here, really. Every squire dreams of becoming a knight, and every knight dreams of having a better squire. That is a pretty good descriptor of the foot squires. They are, they are not very good at anything, to be honest. 
then we just kind of flood in the gates, tie them up, uh, use all our ammo on them, and hopefully Rapunz is going to be able to back cap. I don't know if she will. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I am. Things are actually going decently. We are a little surrounded there, but mostly by zombies, so... Hopefully we cap this before they get there. If we can fight the Black Knights and prevent them from getting onto the control point, that'd be great. Balance of power is in our favor. It's, it's literally just a matter of how many losses will we have and how long will it take. And the answer is that it'll take a long time and we'll have a lot of losses if we don't cap the control points. We can probably pour a few more of our guys through their gates here, as long as we're not doing friendly fire with the trebuchet. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? I left them on fire at will for a second. <laughs> Just shot right into the middle of all of my troops. And this is why we want to get the Blessed Field trebuchets, because they've been patched, they no longer deal damage to friendly units. Okay, we got the control point. It's just a matter of can she keep them off this control point? They're so close to it, but they're not on it. I may as well accept that, I don't have any reason to not, as far as I'm aware. That's actually just peasants. And a field trebuchet. Yeah, this guy's army is dog shit. It was just raised dead, and they are in Force March, so I'll just auto-resolve that. But now we have two field trebuchets, before even getting the building to make more, that's awesome. We have a lot of different ways we could expand. For our short campaign victory, we need to take out the Drakenhof Conclave down here, and the followers of the Gash down here. These guys get really strong in the late game. I've had a really hard time dealing with them in a couple of previous campaigns. So I think it might make sense to just early on move both of my armies over there and bum-rush them. Oh, we're already not getting replenishment here. It doesn't say that we have that going on. Okay, now we have replenishment again. It doesn't- it's not completely accurate here. That is not accurate, the peasant economy up top. Yeah, we're gonna- we're gonna force march down here, we're gonna go hard. Okay, Ark in the Black, right there. I don't know what he has in here, I assume it's 90% skeletons. Uh, he's just- okay. Okay, that works. That works. I might take zero losses taking this. That might work. I'm gonna sidestep him for the moment. Okay, it says they don't have any uses of that. Oh fuck, what the fuck was that? Oh my god. Oh, that was exclusively friendly fire from the field trebuchet. Zero value, but they killed half of one of my units. Okay, why the fuck did they have Ushabdi? It said they had zero Ushabdi. But, we lived. We lived, we didn't take ridiculous losses, probably less than auto-resolve. I can't say for sure, but I'd imagine. We get a shitty little garrison that we can just use as a front line there. And it's not much, but it's it's more than nothing. Now, worst case scenario, Arkin goes for Cover. If he goes for that, that is bad. If he doesn't go for that, I'm fine. Oh, that's the most annoying thing he could have done. And I actually didn't get detected even, he just chose to not attack Rapunz. That's really annoying. I mean, we just we just go here then, I guess. Yeah, he can't take any more of our settlements in one turn at least, so... I wish I just attacked him straight up, that would have been a better move. I really, I was 90% sure he was going to attack uh, Lashik, try and take it back from us though. Come on Arkin, just attack me. You know you want to do it. Thank you. Thank you. It's not going to be a terrible reinforcement spot. Yeah, that's that's not the worst, that's not the worst. We can play around that quite like this location actually because they're slow moving this could be really good for us if we lock this down yeah those hex wraiths are going all the way behind us hopefully we can get some halberdiers in place to deal with them these dire wolves should go down in like one more volley okay the hex wraiths decided not to go all the way behind us that's good thank you for that Ooh, what the fuck is happening here why are you losing so horrifically the arkan is he self-healing he must be self-healing okay he just hit him one time how did he only hit Ark into Black one time? Embarrassingly terrible performance, I don't know how he even managed to do that badly. Uh, we are probably going to lose this army. Like, this army's just mostly gone. Shoot there, shoot there, do it! Three volleys from this trebuchet and we'll really change the balance of power here. Prance is taking quite a lot of damage there, but the trebuchets are putting in some serious work right there as well. Yeah, I think Ark into Black is half of their balance of power at this point. There we go, that should be the army losses right there. Hello? Game? Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Yeah, that was a full hard crash. That was a full hard crash. Wow. <sighs> Fucking fine, I'll fight it again, man. I... <sighs> Please die. There we go. Jesus Christ. Oh, I hope it doesn't crash again. Oh. Oh. 
It worked. It fucking worked. Okay, they have another army there somehow. I don't know how the fuck they have another one. I thought that was their entire balance of power right there, but whatever. Please let me say, I thought I was going to have to redo this challenge with another lord. Shut the fuck up and let me save. We'll take this back real quick. Yeah, I really want to get those field trebuchets. I really do. I'm rushing for them. I moved her pawns back down, but now she's getting besieged. I don't know why you would do that, but whatever. You will be in Forest March, and therefore pretty useless. Pretty useless is not the same as absolutely useless, and we do now auto-resolve this. They really have nothing that I'm actually scared of. I've just got to be really careful with my archers so that they don't get eaten by the bats. Nice, good damage there. Over here. A little sketchier, but we can make it work. All of you motherfuckers, just throw your bodies up here. Throw your bodies up here. Um, sorry, what? How did they get there? How did you- why are you there? They just decided to use the trebuchets as, like, battering rams or something? They just walked into them. Not too horrendous. We are gonna win this with no, or very few, units lost. Can you please get the army losses? There we go, there's the army losses. Holy shit, that took a while. They really fought all the way to the death. I mean, they always do, but usually they crumble before they actually get killed manually. Alright, yeah, we can recover from this, we can recover from this. I think things are going to really change for the positive once we have a shit ton of artillery. And yeah, we didn't crash this time. I've restarted my computer and updated my drivers. Hopefully that'll help. It might make sense to go for that right away. Okay, they do already have a little bit of an army here. I'll probably just move back here and then go for this next turn. This should be a relatively easy win. Might have lost a couple units there, but not too many. We are incredibly hurt though. Um... We've just got to hold and heal up for a good little while here. If we had the movement range, I'd sack and occupy it for that much gold at this point, but... Uh, the People's Hero, that is massive. Plus 5 melee attack and 3 AP weapon damage for all infantry. And then we go for Banish's Scourge. That'll be really huge against all of the undead factions. I think I will go for Courageous for the moment. I think right now we just need her to be strong. God damn, they're recruiting quickly. They are they are recruiting absurdly quickly. They only have one settlement left. That's good. Next turn, we can get a bunch of trebuchets. Our balance of power is so low because we're just constantly severely hurt. Oh my god, he got up to 20 and he moved up there. Uh, we can get up here where he can't reach us. But then he'll probably take this back. I think I just have to let him take this. Even though it seems like we're trading evenly going back and forth with them, we're really not because we have trebuchets now. We have more trebuchets, twice as many trebuchets. And our trebuchets are pretty much the only thing that's holding this campaign together. Ooh, if I go for an ambush here, that could be nice. It's only a 40% chance. I mean, 40% is a lot higher than zero. We've almost dealt with our biggest early threat and we're on turn 11, so I, I would say we're not doing too terribly. If we- oh, we didn't get the ambush off. That's a shame. I think I attacked this and I think I win it now. It's always a little tight. The margins are never as thick as I'd like them. Oh, you're shitting me. They have another army here that already has 12 units again. Oh my god. That's actually acceptable. That is an acceptable auto-resolve. We do have- oh, we have so much melee attack on these guys. We have more melee attack than they do because of Rapunzel's uh, skill tree. That's huge. And we also have weapon strength that's not dog shit now. So, I think I'm going to accept that auto-resolve. It said low casualties. I would say that is the high end of low casualties, but it's still low casualties. I think I'm going to concentrate my power here. I don't really need these units. I feel like this army composition is a little too archer-heavy for me, but I don't mind it too much. We have five melee units. Once they heal up, we'll be in a good spot. We can grab that frenzy for all of them. That's big. We're not in emergency mode for this moment. We will be again soon, I'm sure. We'll just hide there, and hopefully they'll do something dumb. Uh, Ark in the Black is back. He is back in black. And he also has another full army here. Oh shit! 40% baby! We're gonna go bowling. Not perfect, but we can make this work. And this firing line is gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to move Rapunz. Okay, that's fine. She can actually go after their lord, I guess. Strike. That is some nice trebuchet work right there. 
Oh yeah, and the uh, the bats are gone. They just got shot down. I think we have enough infantry. I would like one more unit, maybe two. There we go, that's the army losses right there. Yeah, 181 losses, and they are fucking gone. <laughs> Full unit of Crypt Ghouls, though. They just dipped. <laughs> they just left. Arkin did not get enough recruitment, and actually, we can attack him directly. He's outside of the settlement still. Why the fuck would you do that? You, you actively like what I just did, taking out that Nagash army, plus 8 from that. Why? They're minus 9 going to minus 10. Dude. Ah, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Low born. Alright. And we got the Blessing of the Lady. Oh my god, that's so good. It's I, I don't know why it's shaking there. I can't do anything about that. I am sorry. But that says plus 20% physical resistance. All units for the army. That is massive right there. That is really significant. Uh, we're just going to go for this. This is the obvious play. Mm, are you going to be outside of the reinforcement range? No, you're not. Ah, fuck. Now I have to attack him directly. Okay, that's annoying. I forgot about these guys. I forgot about these guys entirely and just left them over here. And half of their army stayed over here. Oh my god, those two guards are just getting decimated. We have so much ammo. The number of arrows here. Yeah, they're starting to despawn already, but they got pincushioned. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is bad. Uh, yeah, we might have lost this unit of trebuchets. I should have paid closer attention to that, man. I just... It's so annoying when I need to constantly worry about a unit that should not exist based off of the UI. It lulls me into complacency. We actually did lose them, and they were high tier too. That is a real shame. Otherwise, though, this went incredibly well. Okay, they're going back deeper into their territory, or maybe they could go for my settlements from there. That could be a problem, actually. But the good thing is, they've left this pretty undefended. So I'll just start moving up there. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. They're in Force March now. And also they left. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. This is a maybe situation. What if I just, like, raid them? What if I just do that? Does that make you want to come out and attack me, buddy? Hopefully it does. I also kind of need that 200 gold. Like, I could attack this directly, and maybe I could win it, but if I fight a field battle against these guys, I'm like 70% sure I win that. Versus like 50-50 in the settlement. I would have to cheese it to win in the settlement. Come on, attack me. You know you want to do it. What? They're attacking me up there? Also, why is the camera not there? Okay, whatever. We got a trebuchet. And two peasant bowmen on top of this garrison. I think we win that. We don't really need to worry about flanks very much because they're dwarves. If they do flank, we'll have plenty of time to react, so... I'm not worried about the blasting charges exclusively because the peasant mobs just counter them by existing and taking shots without taking any real, uh, valuable damage. And yeah, that's all their ammo gone. And they got like, let's see, let's see, 46 gold value. <laughs> From all of the ammo on blasting charges, perfectly hitting their target. Move these guys back into the side a little bit. Just do it to shoot. Nice. Nice. Not bad. Oh, all those are hitting. That's good. That's good. Their leadership is so high, though. That's the real concern here at this point. I might use her in melee as well. Oh my god, those shots are so good. That was such a good maneuver. We'll, we'll go for, like, that sort of formation. And then you guys can move up here, just in case. Come on. Come on, do it. There we go. There we... Oh, most of them missed. Mo all of them missed, actually. I think I'm going to move back a little further. Oh, without that trebuchet, we were so fucked. 774 gold value. Just basic tactics, like making space for it to shoot without doing exclusively friendly fire. That's all you need. That's all you need. And you get insane, consistent value. I will say it is even better against the dwarves than it is in general. But it's still really fucking good in general. Over here, though, I might just besiege these guys and just wait it out. Yep, I knew that was coming. Oh, I fucking love that map, though. Oh, shit, that's a really nice angle. There we go, there we go. Now we're landing shots. All right. I'm gonna charge in there and distract as many as possible. Ah, oh, fuck, that's gonna hurt. Oh, yep. Blasting charges. Ah, oh, fuck, more blasting charges. Okay, we are tearing them up with the trebuchets, though. 
Uh, they're moving back there? What? They're backing off. Okay, that's that's good. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta embed her in our front line because she gives a lot of melee bonuses to units near her. Although our front line is at this point, you know, archers. <laughs> they're not supposed to be the front line. Uh, they are now, though, and we gotta deal with that. A couple more volleys. A couple more volleys from those trebuchets, and they're gone. Okay, yeah, they're all clumping up on Rapunz, and that means we just shoot all of them here. Over here, they're completely gone. That's so many units just completely taken off the battlefield. That's awesome. Why are they not broken? Where is the army losses? They've taken such overwhelming damage. Oh, there we go. There's the army losses. Holy fuck, right before they got to the trebuchets. That was too close. Oh yeah, these foot squires are wiped out. There's one left. There's one left. Oh god. Other 19 is so huge. That's all Rapunz. She's just such a good commander for the peasants. The peasant economy mechanic is rough. If, if it wasn't for that, they would actually be good. 491 kills, 2,100 value on that one unit. We did lose two good units, and our melee infantry are just gone here. But they're fucking gone, gone. They're even, like, more damaged than we are. I need that gold for right now. I can't afford minus 8 leadership. I can't. I can't afford plus 15 upkeep. Barely. That's like 200 more gold a turn, man, just because of a random fucking event. We're gonna see what we can do when it comes to just taking this settlement first. I'm, I'm gonna start with this. Yeah, this is where this strategy really falls apart if they don't do exactly what I was hoping they would do, which they aren't. I mean, fuck it. I guess we'll just concede the feat here then. We did some damage to him, but yeah, we're not actually winning that with this army comp. We just need more of a front line. We, we need a couple units to actually hold them back. It will take us a while to heal up, unfortunately, but we can just grab a bunch of new units here. Uh, over here, though, we will go for this. So these guys are gone. The Greybeards Prospectors are not going to last much longer here. Ooh, my god, that is a rough auto-resolve. Yeah, I'll just fight this real quick. There they come. Oh, shit. Oh, most of them missed, but that's still cool. Yeah, shooting downhill with artillery is always a little awkward. Every single unit in their entire army has gone into melee with uh, Rapunz, so we're just going to move our archers up. Even their quarrelers just went into melee with her. Every single one of them, and they're still not doing damage to her. Oh, the trebuchets. Oh, the archers too. They're just, they're gone. Yep. Things were very incredibly rough there. That was the roughest start I've had in any of my campaigns, to be honest. But we've got shit kind of locked down. We have three full of good regions. Uh, yeah, we grab that. I think that will be the end of the first episode here. Uh, we're at ten settlements dealt with. Uh, we just have to wipe out the Drakenhof Conclave. The followers of Nagash are already gone. So we're going to be aggressively expanding down this way, and possibly also up here if these guys seem to be really struggling. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Peace out. Thanks for watching.